So I wanted to make this video reaching out to those of you who are casting spells because I wanted to make sure that you were working with the light energy as opposed to the dark. Because if you are working with conflicting energies, you could end up doing more harm than good, which is why I wanted to make a video discussing this topic. First of all, the other side is all about personal power. So I totally understand your desire to command universal energies. And while you may be well-meaning, I just wanna make sure that not only your intentions are pure, but that you're not running into any energetic pitfalls in the process. So let's look at some of the things people cast spells for, right? Number one, love spell. I want him or her to fall head over heels in love with me. Let's get married, make some babies. Yeah, right? Well, it's okay to want this. It's okay to want someone to fall in love with you and you end up together in marital bliss, marital bliss. But what if you're actually imposing on their free will? What if it's not their highest good to fall in love with you? What if you are going against divine will, meaning you guys aren't really meant to be together and the divine has like other partners in mind for you both, etc. So you sitting there commanding energy at this person and saying, I want them to fall in love with me. I want them to fall in love with me. What are you doing? You're trying to control the situation and you're trying to impose on their free will. And the divine is very, very respectful of human free will. So you are walking a very, very fine line here. So be careful. Like you might think this is harmless. It's like, ah, I'm, you know, wishing for emotion. I'm wishing for love. It's like, well, there's also self-interest there. So if I were you, I would pray, you know, please um, have us fall in love with each other if it is for our highest good, right? Please have us enter into a, a loving relationship together if it is for our highest good and in alignment with divine intent, right? So that is less control and still kind of, you know, allowing the divine to do his thing, but then also making your intention known, right? A little bit softer, a little less controlling, still getting your point across. Your angels, your higher self, the divine, they're still listening to you, okay? But it's not like, you know, trying to impose on, on their free will and just kind of control things and, you know, that kind of thing. Um, if you want someone to fall in love with you, my personal advice, be who you are. Because you, in your most authentic state, are going to attract your soulmate, twin flame, whatever to yourself. They're going to be buying what you're selling. And that is really a great way to evoke loving emotion from somebody is really just being who you are being your most authentic self right personality career what are you doing to help humanity you love animals go out and help animals right maybe you go out and help animals and that's how you meet your soulmate because they love animals too right be your most authentic self shine that authentic light and attract them to you without having to cast love spells on people right yeah so there are other other ways to get it done another thing that i just wanted to talk about are karmic requests right suppose you were wronged this person totally screwed me over they broke my heart they took my job they you know hit me with their car whatever this person totally screwed me over. I'm going to do some sort of like justice spell where it's like, oh, what goes around comes around, baby, and this is coming back around to you. That's punishment. So in the back of your head, you're thinking, this isn't punishment. This is just justice. It's just justice. This is fair. I'm, I'm asking for those scales of justice to be balanced out, Christine. What's the big deal with what I'm doing? Well... You're playing God. Karma and karmic lessons are really up to the divine. They happen in divine timing. They happen in divine method. The divine looks at the person's soul, decides what do they need to learn 
and then orchestrates events, what have you, to help that person learn that karmic lesson. But it's not meant to be like punishment or, you know, like anger behind it. It's more of, of, of a divine love behind this karmic lesson. Because when you grow and evolve as a soul and learn things, you actually strengthen your divine connection to him. So you become a closer energetic match for the God energy itself. So karmic lessons are actually done out of love, not shame on you, you idiot. I'm coming after you with this karmic request and I'm going to cast like a justice spell on you or something. You're going to get yours. Don't go there because you're coming from a place of like anger and revenge and whatever. And even if you're trying not to, even if you're just like, well, I want this person to be better and I want them to grow and evolve and I want them to learn and I, I want them not to repeat this mistake and I want them not to do this to somebody else, be careful. You're walking a fine line between having pure intentions and impure intentions. Just be careful. Allow the divine to do his job and control what you can control. Um, I, I would be I would be very careful with like karmic requests. I would just um, I would probably back away from the situation and say, I know you guys saw that. <laughs> you know, go to the other side and just say, you know, I know you guys saw that, and I'm just gonna let you handle that. I'm pissed. I'm really angry that this even happened. This person obviously has lessons to learn. I'm going to let you guys handle that, but I'm just making it known that I'm pissed. And you saw it, okay, whatever. Right? Um, but again, the karma is going to be balanced out in divine timing, in divine method. You, you have to allow the universe to balance out those scales. It's not your job to do that, okay? Um, and one of the reasons why I wanted to make a point about this is the law of attraction. I don't want you guys attracting darkness to yourself because if you are wishing ill on another human being, you are broadcasting that signal to the universe and you are actually attracting darkness to yourselves in the process and the law of attraction kicks in. So don't broadcast that signal, okay? Just offer it up to the other side. Um, another thing is obviously, you know, there's spells of people asking for financial abundance. Hey, can you guys bring some money onto my path ASAP, please? Well, unfortunately, these types of requests and spells are, you know, done all the time. Manifest wealth, manifest money. And if you get out there and you build your empire and you do your vision board or whatever and you work really hard, sure, you could, you know, attract money to yourself. But do you really have the support of universal energies in getting that financial abundance? Or are you a rat on the wheel, like working really hard for it? Or it's just, you know, it, you don't really feel like it's flowing to you. You have to work for every single dollar and it's just a fish swimming upstream and it's just a struggle and it's not going smoothly. And maybe you make all this money and then you lose all this money because, you know, somebody, you know, comes after you for it or, it, you know, all this bad stuff starts happening to you where you have to spend money on this and this and this and this. The money is like falling out of your account, you know, as soon as you make it. Well, there are certain dynamics behind having the support of universal energies and gaining that financial abundance. Maybe you experience a financial windfall where you didn't work for it and the universe just brought it onto your path. Maybe you end up making a ton of money from pursuing your life purpose or inventing something that really helps a lot of people. Coming up with an idea that really helps a lot of people. You patent that idea, you, know, you get a lot of money from that, what have you. You, you know, open up an animal shelter, donors give to you, what, what have you. Maybe your, your financial abundance comes from pursuing your life purpose and opening up your heart to humanity and helping people, right? So there's a difference between casting spells, asking for financial abundance, and then also having the support of universal energies and actually obtaining that. It doesn't always have to be so hard. You can be in the flow and be aligned with truth and light and self-love and love for others and life purpose and gain financial abundance. You don't necessarily have to control the situation with spells. Um, another thing is, you know, the other side is so used to these requests that it's like, okay, well, everybody wants money. What makes you different? <laughs> you know, what makes you different? If you feed the collective, the collective feeds you. So what are you gonna do for humanity, right? You scratch the collective's back, the collective scratches your back. 
but they also want you having pure intentions and genuinely opening your heart up to the collective not sitting in there like you know not sitting there like where's my money where's my money yeah so just be aware of that um another thing is health people just wanting to be healthy and they're just not and it's just not happening well be careful here because instead of just casting a spell like oh i want to be healthy there could be a different dynamic going on behind this and maybe you know you still have this illness or this ailment or this pain or this discomfort because you're not meeting the other side halfway maybe the other side is saying well we can make you healthy we can heal you but we need you to meet us halfway with diet exercise lifestyle you know you have stage four lung cancer because you smoke all right let's talk about this um, this is a result of your free will decision. So this is a karmic situation where you have to learn lessons that your body is a temple and ingesting toxins have consequences, right? Um, you know, maybe you're a diabetic who just still eats sugar. Pray for self-discipline so that you can stop eating the sugar and meet the other side halfway. Because it's, 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 it's going to be pretty tough to get that healing energy from the other side if you have karmic lessons to learn about ingesting sugar and, and, and you know smoke and, and treating your body like a temple right so you really want to show the universe hey i learned my lesson you know please will you help me so again control what you can control health is a tough one you know health is a tough one we get ourselves down this path and and we're, we're so far deep in that hole that we don't know how we can get out of, you know out of it maybe we've gained a whole bunch of weight right it takes a long time to lose that so maybe we just lose hope and we think oh there's no chance well really you know the divine won't leave you your angels won't leave you your higher self won't leave you they don't give up on you we give up on ourselves but the other side doesn't give up on us so take their hand control what you can control do what you can do and meet them halfway and you know i guess that's what i'm trying to say is um what i'm trying to suggest instead of spells here because I just feel like spells are just kind of asking for it with regards to, you know, controlling things and trying to play God and attracting negative energy to yourself. Um, what I'm trying to suggest here instead is really prayer. Um, really just kind of leveling with God and saying, okay, God, this is what I learned from this situation. Um, you know, A, B, and C. Um, I'd, I'd like to pray for, for X, Y, and Z. And really, really just pray for it and, you know, ask the divine to, to tell you what can you do? You know, what, 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 what role do you play? What can you do in order to get what you desire? And again, the other side is all about personal power and power manifestation. So I do understand you guys commanding universal energies. Go for it. I, I understand you guys commanding universal energies because personal power is very important. We are all superheroes. But I just want you to command them with pure intentions and to avoid those conflicting energies that could be causing blocks to you receiving what you want. Uh, create your vision boards, fantasize, dream, you know, use your imagination. What would my dream house look like? What would my dream job be like? Right? Fantasize, attract that to you. Use the power of your mind to attract that to you and know that you deserve it. Know that you are worthy of receiving that and know that you deserve it, right? Don't have any limited beliefs or energetic blocks to receiving that abundance either, right? Um, you know, Reiki is also a form of manifestation because you're using the power of your mind to heal yourself mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically, or healing others mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically. You're using the power of your mind and, you know, channeling universal energies out through your hands to heal people. So that, that is a form of commanding universal energies. Reiki, you're an energy healer. Um, you know, again like as opposed to pursuing you know spells um i i want you guys to also take a closer look at using your intuition so that you know whether to go left or right at each intersection 
So if you guys could take the time and effort to develop your intuition, then that'll also help you feel more connected to the divine, your higher self, your angels, so that you know what you're doing and you feel divinely guided on your path. And that's going to make you feel more in control of your life, right? Because you'll be connected to the other side and you'll feel more empowered and that your life is a little more deliberate and your choices are a little more you know, clear on what you're supposed to be doing because universal energies are constantly responding to your free will decisions. So if you are being divinely guided with those free will decisions, then the law of attraction kicks in and you attract positive energy to yourself in the process, right? So just a few things I wanted you guys to, to keep in mind if you are out there casting spells, um, just be careful. Just be careful. Make sure you're, you're working with light energies and not dark energies. You know, coming from a place of greed, ego, pride, revenge. That's all working with dark energies. And I want you guys to come from a place of personal power and, you know, command universal energies utilizing the light. And the light, you know, they're, they're not, they're responsible for, for the lessons we learn. You know, they're responsible for respecting human free will and they're all knowing. So they're very, very concerned about everybody's highest good. And so that's why when you guys are working with universal energies, I wanna make sure that you're keeping that in mind, not controlling everything and being very respectful of human free will and knowing what is everyone's highest good and allowing the divine to do his job. And in the meantime, take care and be well. Thank you.